we haven't seen old school full blown power up all like yet. We could see 50 cents RSR this cycle. Yo, what's going on guys, Flames here, and today I am bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I will be discussing reserve rights, ticker RSR, and it's a good one. So stick around, find out my thoughts on it, where you should buy, and where it's gonna go. Enjoy. So, here we have my third biggest asset. I have been in this project from around September, October time, I'm pretty sure. I got this under one cent. It's an amazing project. If you haven't already, I advise you go and look into it. And honestly, if you don't want to invest after that, that's on you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll want to invest as soon as you read up on what this project's about, who's involved, the all the investors behind it. It's it's absolutely insane. We're not going to really go into the fundamentals and all like that. I'll more so just be looking at the key statistics and some price analysis after we go through that. So we're sitting at 8.4 cents right now, which which is we are down nearly 9% today. That is not too bad as the whole market sort of took a wee bit of a hit after Bitcoin crashed. Everything obviously follows it <clears throat> when it's dropping like that. But we tapped 10 cents. We didn't actually. We tapped like 9.9, .9, but we nearly hit the 10 cents mark. And then obviously we rejected off that and came down a wee bit. I'll show you that once we get into the actual trading view charts. But circulating supply for RSR. It's chilling. We're sitting at a 13 billion out of a max supply of 100 billion. So that's 13%, obviously. It's pretty easy math right there. We're sitting at a 1.6 billion market cap, which is which is pretty, pretty okay. We have a lot of room to grow. I can see RSR. Maybe this current cycle, this year, I could see it maybe over over 5x in maybe like a like a 7x maybe that's all that this is not financial advice this is just my thoughts to be honest like i could see rsr maybe pushing 50 cents like this is a great project like you don't understand like theta theta is absolutely pumping it does not give a fuck what anything else is doing if RSR gains the traction that it can, we could see it fly to 50 cents easily. Within this year, that is. It could go to $1, like overall, if you're holding for years, which I will be. I'll maybe take some profits when we hit that 50 cents mark, but we'll see. So anyway, let's scroll down and we will go to the market pair. So I can show you where you can actually pick up some RSR if you're not holding it already yourself. So Binance, as you can see, is the number one trader for volume, as usual. Binance always is. So we've got 10% of the volume in the USDT pair. Uh, Huobi is actually pretty up there. It's second. Then the BTC pair and Binance is third. And then Huobi again. Poloniex. I actually used to use Poloniex back in the day. That was back in like 2017. Yeah, around 2017 I was using Poloniex. Um... Yeah, I would stick with Binance if I'm being honest. Binance is what I use for pretty much everything. Let me go back to the overview here and we'll check out the all-time high for RSR, which we already know. Well, hopefully, if you're keeping up to date with it. The all-time high is there 0.09987. So this is why I said just before 10 cents at the start. I actually said in a video a wee bit before that if you're taking profits for a round number, just go below it. So if it was a dollar, like 99 cents, or if it was the 10 cents mark for RSR, you can set it at 0 0.99. I was the same with VAT. I took a small, small percentage on VAT. And where did VAT hit? I wanted to go for the 10 cents mark, but I didn't. I went for the... Well, I actually went for 98, to be honest. So I sold here, which was nearly the top. 
I wanted to take profits around 10 cents. You don't go for the 10 cents mark because people will dump their bags just before to try and undercut you and take their profits. They don't care about you. Obviously, it's going to go through 10 cents, but that'll be on a ne the next run. So if you wanted to sell here, buy the dip and then go. That's the best way to make money personally, but it's up to you. Let's get back to RSR. So we'll go to the actual RSR chart here. And this is already pretty marked up. Um, I think I have, uh, let me check. Okay, this is cleaner. I don't know when I drew that to be honest. But anyway, right, we'll mark this up as the all time high here. Boom, okay. ATH and we shall I don't really need to mark up any support and resistance lines do I well there's one there I'll mark that up um, there's another one there on there okay so those are a few support and resistance lines that I've just drawn on this is obviously resistance that's the only resistance we have. These are all supports. So personally, if I didn't have RSR in my bag, wait, I'll actually show you where I bought. I bought, yeah, it must've been back. Oh, it must've been October time. It was around here. The 0 0.009 mark is where I picked up I was about to say the amount there. I'll keep that one to myself. But I picked up a, a healthy bag of RSR that I'm happy with. So we're here now. We're sitting. We've rejected off this this all-time high of 0 0.9970. As I said, if you're looking to take profits at 20 cents, right? Don't actually set it for 20 cents, as I said for this one set it for just below it maybe the the 998 that's a lot safer because there will be people that will sell because this is a psychological barrier for stuff that's in price prediction when it's price discovery mode it's just flying so the only thing you can really go off is fib extensions on psychological levels so that would be my advice take it or leave it it's up to you personally i think that is the best way to take profits just slightly below that round number. But back to RSR, and if I didn't have a bag and I was looking to pick up, or if I was just looking to pick up some more, I would run the Fibonacci retracement, which we've talked about before. All you need to do, if you, this is in my hot bar, I'll show you actually, if you don't have it already, it's just right here. Just click this arrow and it's right here. It's also Alt F as a shortcut. I don't use that, I just use Alt H as a shortcut actually. I should probably start using that one. So what you gotta do is grab your Fibonacci retracement. You're gonna pull it from the bottom of the previous move, which is around 0 0.76 nearly. You're gonna bring it all the way to the top of the move. And as you can see, we've already retraced through the 618 level. Now is a great time to buy. Buy the dip. Honestly, I'm surprised we got through this 618. We could pull it down to this move and run the Fibonacci from here and say that the 618 is there. I don't think we're gonna go any lower. I think we've bottomed out here and we're making ourselves, we're making our way back up. We're in a bull cycle and the dips are just aggressively being bought up for altcoins and Bitcoin. Honestly, we're at a good point right now. Like if I was, say we hadn't retraced yet, RSR was sitting up, RSR was sitting up at this 10 cents mark. You run this fib. I would have put, personally, I would have put three orders in here, here, and here. Oh, guess what? Two of my orders would have filled, one wouldn't. That's good for me. It's gonna hopefully continue on this uptrend. Let's actually check out the, okay. So we could be getting a bullish cross here on RSR on the 4R chart. 
that would be nice. Let's check the one day here. Okay, we might actually come down some more. So we might we might actually pick up pick up some um RSR at this uh this six one eight buy order here around the seven eight cents mark. This is also pretty good support that I have drawn up here. So we might actually come back and retest this support line and then go. So this could be a good buy opportunity. But we also could just continue sailing on up here. So these are three solid buy orders here. These two would have filled. And if it didn't fill the last one, you're not that sad because it's filled 60% of your order and it's going to blast off here. And if it doesn't blast off, guess what? It's going to come back down and fill your order. And then it's going to keep going because we're in a bull cycle right now. Alts are looking healthy and we're all going to be rich. And I'm buzzing for it. So we've looked at the USDT pair. Honestly, I would buy now or put orders in for this 618 level around this 78 cents mark. If you think it's going to come down some more, you could look at it on the daily chart on a more macro scale. I could run a fib from this move and tell you to put a buy order in for maybe around the seven cents mark. But personally, I think this this support should hold as long as Bitcoin doesn't shit itself and the whole market drops. We should maybe bounce off this 382 and keep going, bounce off this support line and keep going. Just buy RSR now. <laughs> You won't regret it. It's going to go to the moon. Let's take a look at the BTC pair now. So this is our RSR BTC pair on the daily. I actually don't have this marked up, but our all time high year for Satoshi pair is 273 sats. That was obviously before Bitcoin went on its huge run up to 62K. So, wait, let me actually mark that up. Oh, let me bring that back. ATH. Okay, right. So, we're looking pretty good here. The EMAs are looking healthy. Let me mark up a couple of support and resistance lines. I like that one. Um... This is on the daily, so I'm gonna say around there as well. And yeah, that'll do. So if you're working in BTC pairs, which I do sometimes, I would personally drop into the 4R and I would be running the Fib retracement probably from this, this up move here, all the way up to the top and if I was going to be putting orders in in Satoshi's, I would go for this 618 level at around 137 sats. I would go for that level right there, the 0 0.5 at around 145. And then I would also go for this 382 level at around 151 sats as well. Those are probably the three that I personally would have down. If BTC behaves itself and continues sideways, we could just see this this continue in this uptrend. We've got a nice wee, wait, let me draw a wee uptrend. There, yeah, we broke through it here for a wee bit. We got a wee move up, then we consolidated a little, and then we've got another move up, consolidated, move up. We've retraced a little, obviously, because the market moved down, but the 3 at 2 level seems to be holding them, holding it up quite nicely. If we break this trend again, like we have there, we could, we could see these orders getting filled. But honestly, I think we've seen our correction for, for a few days now. I think we, we continue upwards now after, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin dropped there. Bitcoin dropped down to 50... 52.9 pretty much 53k 
bottomed out and now we're moving upwards again. I think it's going to be the same for the whole market. We're starting to see some green again. That's what you want to see. We want to see the green popping up. Like, look at the data. Data is going nuts. It's a 13. What is going on with data? Data is absolutely crazy. Like, this is when I was marking it up. Look. I know this is an RSR video, but data is absolutely killing it as well. Like, I was marking data up when this was its all-time high. Three dollars. Then we blasted through that 6.28, or that 1.6.28, the 2.6.28, and the 3.6.28. Let's just, let's actually do that on RSR right now, okay? So, RSR USDT. Um, right, so let's do a fib. So we'll go from the top of the move to the bottom for this. So that makes it the extensions. So, if we were to hit the 3... 0.618 for RSR, which, as you can see, what the hell? Which, as you can see, altcoins do, like that happens. That can happen easily. And let's hope it happens to our RSR bags. If we get 26 cents RSR, that's halfway to what I said earlier in this video. We haven't seen alt school full blown power up all like yet we could see 50 cents RSR this cycle. We're all hoping for it. If you haven't already got your buy orders in, get them in. If you've already got your bag, you're chilling along with myself. We're just sitting back and watching ourselves get richer as the days go by. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and also hit that bell button so you know when I upload new videos every day. Peace.